What do you believe is the ultimate accolade to being a designer? Hmm. I think ultimately what we want is for our products to be bought and used over and over again. That they have some longevity. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have 80 products that are still being sold today. And some of them are 15, 20 years old. Actually, They've been in the market that long. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's to me the ultimate. If people are still, my, my product's timeless. That means that's a good thing. I mean, it, I think we all have the feeling that in America we have kind of a disposable culture. And, and we try not to really... Um, perpetuate that and in fact uh, a even couple of our cheap. even yeah but a couple of our products not only have they been on the market for 19 or 20 years but the products have survived the client and uh, the, the product <laughs> was so valuable and successful that it was sold from one company that was you know needed an exit strategy because they were going out of business sold to another company and, and at least once, if not twice, in its 20-year life. But the product is still sold and manufactured and sold today <laughs> in really the same form that it was 20 years ago. Well, And while I want to be timeless and everything, I don't want to be a Twinkie. So let's be really careful about that. So yeah. the Twinkie brand obviously survived from company to company, but I hope that it's because my product's good and not because it's, you know... Well, so, <laughs> like we say, we, it, it we, can't be killed. <laughs> but like we say, we develop products, pretty much everything except food and fashion. Yes, so I think we, do. we can forgive the Twinkie. We can forgive the Twinkie. <laughs> anyway, but no, you know, I mean, I think, you know, design awards, they're not, you know, we don't love design awards. Design awards are filled with a lot of things that look really pretty in a magazine, but aren't useful to the consumer. And I just want, I want people to recommend my my you know, my products. What I really love is, uh, you know, to, nowadays I can read the comments. So like mm, if right. I if I've got a product for sale on Staples, I can go read the comments from all of my customers. And I love that. Um, that just gives me that sort of sense of satisfaction that I did a good job, that they love my product and they're recommending it. I think actually a lot of companies don't look at those comments enough because you can learn a lot from it to improve future products. Yeah. But like you say, fortunately the feedback that we're getting yeah, on our nice. products is, is very positive and reinforces that yeah. we did a good job. Yeah, so I think that's probably the biggest accolade for us. Mm. Have you thought about what you would do as a career if you weren't inventing products? I don't like that question. You don't like that question? I think, well, because you just always wanted to be a designer. I don't know. You love being a designer. I, I think I would be a, I mean, there's no question, I would just be a writer. I, I mean, it's my favorite part about when, you know, I get to write copy and I get to write blogs and I, I get to write things about our company. I, I, that, I get energized by the writing portion of it. So I'm, you know, work, working on some books. So mm -hmm. I, I may actually get to fulfill that part of my dream. <laughs> For me, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what I would be. I mean, it probably would have been an offshoot of being more of an engineer or maybe in computer software or something if I wasn't a designer. But honestly, at this point, I can't imagine not being a designer. Uh, and I don't have dreams of being an actor or somebody famous like that either, so. Lastly, what's next on your list? What new products would you like to design? No, this is really, we, We've been lucky and we've done a lot of really diverse things, consumer electronic accessories and furniture of all kinds in, in commercial as well as in retail. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten to do a lot of really interesting things over the time, but when we were doing the, our gender blend lecture that we gave mm -hmm. in Vegas, uh, I guess it was a year Last ago, year, yeah. yeah, we we used some other examples that were outside of our design realm, and I kind of got excited about grills. Mm -hmm. I would That's love great. to design a grill. And I think it's because it's the perfect gender blend product in reverse, like more women are grilling and it's such a man's domain and I'd love to just make it female friendly. And I think there's so many things that like are wrong with it, like, you know, like the heat shields right, right where your boobs are. I just think that that's really a scary thing for a lot of women or, you know, I'm short and I can't reach my arm in. And so like, there's just so many ways that you could functionally make it better and physically it should just look better. Why shouldn't it be as great as our ovens and our, on our ranges? I think there's a lot of opportunity yes. in that market for a maybe a bit of a revolution, if not a significant evolution in the product, and something that I still think men would feel manly grilling. Right. But if we can make that grill 
be a much more desirable or, or certainly interesting product to women, have it function a bit better, because they all work the same way, it, it would be The other thing exciting. is is that I like the idea of adding design to that, mm-hmm. where it seems like such an engineered product. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, and really it probably is just factory it, It's all about Donald factory Lundy. direct, yeah. right? I mean, there, there are certain factories in Asia making grills. They're all making them the same way. And just like we've experienced in other areas, they know how to do only what they know how to do. And until somebody comes along and tells them, it can be so much better and you can gain more market share by yeah. doing it a little differently than... Yeah, you know, I like that challenge. So yeah, I think that that's what... I that definitely want to do a grill in the next couple of years. I agree. <laughs>